Welcome back to a family food supply. Today again we have the what to buy this month for the month of November. Okay, first up are the things that are going to be on sale at Azure Standard. Might be some of this stuff, so let's take a look. One of the items that is on sale for the month of November is milk and yogurt products from Alexandre Farm. Next we're going to have things like the Azure Clean products. They're going to be things that you can clean bathrooms. Floors, toilets, glass, and all of those things. That One of the things that I noticed that is not included with the Azure Clean products is laundry detergent. That is one of the items that we do use. But I think that this month we're going to give the dish soap a try. Maybe. Essential oils are also on sale from both Silver Sage and Biomed Balance. I've gotten a couple of essential oils from Azure in the, like a really long time ago. We fell into using doTERRA products for a while now, but I'm really considering, especially the Silver Sage, I'm thinking about giving some of those a try. They've got some, they're not flavors. What are they? Fragrance? Fragrances. Not, but they're not fragrances. They've got some types. Types. Types that looked really interesting to me. And of course, we've mentioned it before, but Bob's Red Mill is on sale. You're going to find all sorts of different types of things. You mentioned that we've mentioned Bob's Red Mill before, and we have, but I think that they rotate through their products, so it's different things each month. And for the month of November specifically, it happens to be a lot of their gluten-free flours, hence the pea and bean. But things like coconut flour and their gluten-free blend and... Their almond flour, their rice flour, their gargum, gargum. stuff like that. Gargum. Next on the on sale is going to be the Celtic or Celtic sea salt. I don't know. Give it a go. So this is one of those things that happens to be on sale very often. Like I think almost every month. But not everything is like that. So if you want to take advantage of some of the sale pricing on these items for not just one, not just two, but for three months out, we made a video that I'll link in the description box below it's on how you can take advantage of sale pricing for months. If you're not taking advantage of the sales for multiple months, it's absolutely ridiculous. You can capitalize on that and go check out the video, but not right now. We've got to finish this. Okay, so this next one is one of our favorite items. As you can see, we have three different varieties of the Flavorganics extracts. We have anise, hazelnut, and almond. They have a number of different items. I think they've got like coconut and chocolate and peppermint and all kinds of different flavors. So these are on sale this month. Throw some in your cart for today and for next month and the next one. It's stew season. If you're anywhere not south or... I think the people in the south still like soups. In the winter? I don't know. Yeah. We're winter months here where we're at, so stew season is upon us. So check out the Muir Glen canned tomato products because you can add those into your beef stews, your chicken stews, your lamb stews, your... your tomato soup, your, your... Yeah, all your soups. Chicken noodle soup. I was... I found a chicken noodle soup recipe that has tomatoes in it, which I didn't do, but yeah, anyway, we also have a number of Napa Valley products on sale, but most specifically, we want to draw your attention to the balsamic or the Grand Reserve balsamic vinegar. This is amazing. And if you're buying any other type of vinegar, you know, people have told us that you can, you can like process it down boil it down to where it gets nice and syrupy Thick. and liquidy yeah. like this one. We buy this when it's on sale and we buy it in the big giant boxes. Giant box. How many so, comes don't you make it that so much? It's like this. I think it drops the price down to like six dollars per bottle where if you buy it normal one like not on sale one bottle it's about ten bucks per bottle yeah. so it's a really good deal. Cool. So Azure carries all of the paper chef Actually, I don't know if it's all. I haven't checked out their it's website to know, but it, they carry the paper sheets, the roll, all of the different baking cups. And we noticed, it was probably about a year ago that Costco started carrying, you just hid the mini. We noticed, <laughs> all right, stop. It had, it had a baby. Stop. 
We noticed that Costco started carrying the Paper Chef parchment paper, but when we got it, number one, it's white, so I don't know if it's bleached or not. And number two, I think it feels a little bit thinner than the one that we get from Azure. So I was really excited when we first got it, and I think I'm going to stick with getting it from Azure. How would you agree with that assessment? Yes. And here it is. This is the Costco one. You want to go side by side? And as you can open the roll, though. Well, this is the one from Costco. And like I said, it's white. I'm just wasting that paper. And then this is the one. It's about the same thickness. It might be. Yeah. Next is the Strauss Family Creamery. I don't believe that all of their products are on sale, but their yogurt is. And that is one of my favorite yogurts, personally. Really? Yeah, I love it. Again, harvest season means canning season, and the superb canning lids, which we've tried, not too bad thus far. Still, We're still testing to things. <laughs> but they're on sale. Check it out. They're a mighty canning lid. I mean, it is a thick and sturdy canning lid in comparison to the others. So I know it's a little bit more expensive than the four jars, but it is made in the U.S. It's new product to Azure last month and it's still on sale for the month of November. And lastly, because all this stuff is delicious, but every once in a while you need to put a little sweetener in there. So the Wholesome Sweeteners brand is on sale this month. You're gonna find things like brown sugar, cane sugar, and powdered sugar. Now, they also have molasses on sale, but the one thing that I don't love about the Wholesome Sweeteners molasses is that you can only get it in the, I think it might be like a, 32. 32 ounce bottle where I love getting our molasses in that gallon size jug and Azure does have, I think it's an Azure market brand where they have the molasses, it's the black strap molasses in the gallon jug and I just think that that's a better deal. And next up is new items from Azure Standard and fortunately we don't have anything to show you because everything it's new. is new. <laughs> So if you can imagine <laughs> what we're about to tell you, laying out beautifully displayed. Or we can just switch over to the computer. All right, first up, we're gonna have the coconut products from the Azure Market brand. These things are gonna include the coconut milk, coconut cream, sweetened condensed coconut milk. Sure, that's gonna I'm be something we one. wanna try. And of course, the evaporated coconut milk. I'm excited because to try that one too. I don't know why you wanna try it, it's evaporated. It's like a joke. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't get it. <laughs> Azure Market also has a new ketchup that they're offering, as well as a new brand of salts. They actually have a red gold, a pink diamond, a black lava that has charcoal in it, and an alder and hickory smoked salt. Well then, I think we're going to have to give that a try. <laughs> Uh, nope, just the last two. <laughs> There's also the North Coast brand apple cider and applesauce pouches. Silver Sage, as we mentioned earlier, having items on sale, they have a new essential oil that's called Harshinger. Do you think? Harshinger. Harshinger. Harshinger? Harshinger. Which I was looking at it and it's, I think it's got some like floral notes. It can be used as just a general fragrance to use, so I want to try it. You've heard of us talk of some of the Trace Mineral brand items before. Christy loves some of their electrolytes. They have a complete food multivitamin. They're also going to include an electrolyte stamina tablet, like for the vigorous workouts. Well, I think like it's an electrolyte tablet for you to take, which I thought you would be really interested in. I have the tablets. You don't like, no, you have the flavorless drops. No, I have tablets. You do? Yes. I make liars out of you guys. I'm there. Well, look at that. So although this is new to Azure, we actually have some. And yeah. Kevin took a few and then stopped. Actually, he took a lot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's almost gone. For those of you who don't like to drink electrolyte drinks, that's a great way to get your electrolytes in without having to consume yeah. the liquid. I'm going to take one here in a minute. This is pretty uh, intense. Do you chew on it or do you no, smell just, it? Yeah, just chew, yeah. Just do you chew, chew on it? Yeah, do you smell it? So Trace Minerals also has a mouthwash 
that they're going to have available through Azure, as well as beef liver tablets beef liver. and beef organ tablets. Oh. So if you want to get your liver and organs in and you don't really want to consume it, Raw. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, one of the new products by Maxim Hygiene Products. They have some wipes, they have pads and liners, they have cotton balls. Next up is our seasonal items. It's some of our favorites. So, being that November is the month of Thanksgiving, we're going to draw your attention to a few. Different kind of these seasonal type things. Seasonal. <laughs> seasonal things like green beans and fried onions. If you like the traditional fried onion dish, recommend getting this stuff Early. earlier in the month as opposed to later because it seems like every year it runs out. There, well, something runs out, whether it be pumpkins or fried onions or green beans or potatoes or sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is another one. Pumpkins, you might be able to get a really good deal on pie pumpkins right now, now that Halloween is over, but if not, you can also go with the canned pumpkin. Also, if you've not done so already, make sure to order your turkeys. If you have a natural grocers near you, they accept reservations. <laughs> you can reserve a turkey for $5.00 and you or just you, put in your order and then they tell you when it, they're, they come in and you go in and you pick them up. So we were able to order three turkeys and not worry about it. So there are also a number of other seasonal items that are more of our normal seasonal items that are just available in abundance because they're producing. Things like squash. This is a delicata squash. We found out about these, I think, two years ago. Oh, it was last year. I think we, no, we found out about them two years ago. We got a whole bunch of them last year because we like them. had like one or two the year before. And these are delicious. Yeah. Butternut squash, acorn squash. 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 Your, your sweet potatoes. Carrots. Basically now, the root in-ground stuff. Here are your two different types. This is actually a sweet potato. This is a yam. Azure does sell both. If you buy them elsewhere, a lot of the times this orange one will be sold as a sweet potato. However, it is a yam. The sweet potato is a little bit sweeter. It's totally, it's different. It's totally different. It is different. different. Potatoes yeah. in general, we've got carrots, we have apples, um, peppers I was, and onions. I was really bummed that none of our apples came in November from Azure. But they're still coming into stock, so you might be one of the lucky ones who is able to get your hand to get your hands on a case, a bushel of apples. So citrus is something that's also still plentiful. We've got lemons, limes, grapefruit, oranges. Carrying on with some of the seasonal stuff, <clears throat> the peppers, onions, and cabbage, all stuff that takes a long time to produce. End of the season. Also, it's, they're, they're good. Okay, last but not least, we have here at A Family Food Supply put together a buying cycle that includes three different parts. Part one is items that we're going to try and buy for the entire year. Part two is items that we're going to try and buy for six months worth. And then part three is items that we're going to try and get three months worth. Now we went through and looked at all of the things that you can buy in bulk and keep for at least a year and the way that we kind of determine what goes into each category is based on storage factors, cost factors, availability factors, and all of that. For the month of November, number one is the items that we are going to try and buy for the entire year and that is our grains. We have soft wheat. No, I'm sorry. Soft white wheat. We have hard red wheat, soft white wheat, hard white wheat, spelt, kamut, and einkorn. einkorn. We also use a couple other grains, but not in the large quantities that we use these in. And for these grains specifically, because we do have a decent stash as it is, 
what we're going to probably be looking at is what we need to add to what we currently have to get us to Back one up. year right. so that the next time that we buy grain is next November. It's a great time of year to buy grain. It's after the harvest. The supply is in abundance and it's usually at a decent price. Whereas if you're trying to get it in the spring or into the early summer, it's a little bit harder to get your hands on these grains. Next up is going to be the six month category. In our case, this six month bracket is going to include condiments. As you can see, there's a lot of condiments out here because we just, that's how we roll, all right? <laughs> we do not buy a lot of condiments. No. We actually make most of them. I'm really excited to try to make the, Wor the Worcestershire and the Dijon, uh, or the mustard, excuse me. Mm -hmm. But right now we just have Tabasco, Worcestershire, mustard. We have two different types. We like regular and Dijon. And then this isn't necessarily... So we all, I also have a category that we do oils and vinegars, mm -hmm. which so this is technically a vinegar, but we use it as a condiment. Yes, it will drizzle that on top of green beans, chicken, burger, cheeseburger salad, stuff like that. So for us, this is actually a fairly inexpensive buy because it's not, we're not stocking 15 or 20 different SKUs of condiments. Mm -hmm. And then the second item we have in that six month category is our beef. We get a whole cow beef twice a year. And so one comes in November and then our second one comes around May-ish. So May is not technically the best time to get your beef, but we have found that number one, it's cheaper when you get the whole beef as opposed to a half or a quarter. And number two, November is a great time to get your beef. So, because it actually goes to the processor in about October, so it's just kind of at the end of that... Um, Full growth season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next up is three months, and this one's kind of fun because it has a few of our more snackable type things. Like nuts. So, one of the reasons that nuts are in one of the three month categories is because, number one, their shelf life, and number two, their expense. Three months of nuts is a little bit more affordable than six to 12 months of nuts. We do store our nuts in the freezer, so they we wouldn't have any problem with them making it for that full year. But, but when you weigh it with the expense, it's and just- And the space available. And the space available. We decided to put that on a three month cycle. Cool. Next on our three month list is butters and fats. Now, we have mentioned in the past, we are a big fan of making our own peanut butter. Um, but when we don't? But when we don't, we buy it. And Costco has a great deal on their organic peanut butter. Everyone in our house enjoys it. Yeah. And while we're stacking up on this this month, we also can kind of weigh between peanut butter and Home. peanuts. Yep that go in the nut category. Yeah. We also have our butter. We are able to keep that in the freezer. Three months worth of butter is just about three boxes <coughs> for us. And then also we have been rendering our the pig fat that we get from our hog. My goal this month is to render, render the rest of the lard and free up some more space. Not, Not lastly, <laughs> but getting close to lastly, the broths. We, we've we been experimenting with doing some canning, loving the idea of being able to can our own broth and re rekindle that American spirit. <laughs> Instead of buying this. But, oh, if, although. If, but if you're not up to canning, just stock up on your broth. Again, shelf life, It's I think mean, three months is good. Yeah, yeah. But, and for us specifically, we're gonna really just kind of focus in on doing that chicken broth. Another reason why we put broth during the month of November is that if you have a turkey, those turkey bones make an excellent bone broth. So when we are doing our turkeys, it is, it makes a lot of broth. And so we'll be canning some of the, that up as well. All right, last and least 
Chicken. Not least. Now we eat a ton of chicken here at the Comstock Clan. We take the whole chicken, we cook that, or we cut that up, and we process that in whatever way. Tonight we're experimenting with something new. So we'll, be sharing, we'll that. be sharing that in a future video. But we'll take the whole chicken. We buy them from natural grocers. It's way more economical to buy whole chicken as opposed to just individual cuts, plus you get the broth. Yeah, we used to do a lot of breasts and thighs, but then you do, you lose out on the bro on the broth and you, you lose out on, not, like having that different skews that you have to have, because then we would have breasts and thighs and, and whole, whole chickens and, wings. And, and all of that, whereas now we just buy whole chicken it's one thing, you can keep track of it easily. And cutting it up, it's not that bad. I mean, it no. takes a couple minutes to cut it up and you get to be in control of how much you get, what type of cuts, if you want the rib meat in there or not. Mm -hmm. So really, you cater to your needs specifically. Thank you so much for watching the What Do We Buy for the month of November. If you're interested in seeing how we use some of this stuff in real life practical applications and what we get from Azure, go check out this video over here where we'll share with you how we use them.